Yeah. Four stage stews in one deck could it work? What the heck? Only one way to attack grenade. Just gotta rack up, build you up with slack egg. So stop with your trading. Psycho transfers and them charging. It's all blocked, amazing. Mercadium gets it all a play. Quit wiping her for days and days. With a load of nine girls, we amaze. When we get them candies out, okay? That's what for draws that energy. We only pay what you gotta believe. But with a crazy strategy, we can do things over on repeat. Yeah! Episode 200. We've come a long way, haven't we, folks? This is going to be a special one. Very crazy special deck on the 200th episode. Here we go. Ha. Yeah! What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdos TCG here, and welcome to the 200th episode on my channel. If you have been a long time subscriber, thanks for sticking around for so long. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because I post the latest news and best decks in the format. So be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that content. Today, on the 200th episode on my channel, I'm going to talk about Shintaro Ito's crazy deck that got four stage twos combined into one deck. It's going to be fantastic, it's going to be amazing. So uh, grab yourself some soda soda and some popcorn because you want to learn about this deck. Uh, Shintaro Ito is no stranger in the TCG community. He got first place at the 2016 World Championship and he brought Mega Ordino EX for the people that remember him from playing that deck. He created another crazy deck called Meganium, Swampert, uh, the uh, of course Greninja GX and Slacking. So that is all combined into one deck and today we're going to be looking at the deck and uh, talk about all the cards that have been used in this list and uh, we do see see that in the uh, Japan uh, area, of course in Niigata, that tournament, he got 11th place with this deck out of like thousand pe thousands of people, this actually uh, got 11th place, so that's not bad for kind of a stra strange uh, 4 uh, stage 2 decks. <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, go into this list and talk about all uh, the cards that are in here. First thing you should know, you might think, oh, this deck will definitely run uh, Elm's Lecture. Well, nothing more is true, no Elm's Lecture here. It will be running on, of course, the Nazball uh, combo here with, of course, other supporters, but more on that later. So you don't even need to run 60 uh, HP Pokemon, go with the 70 HP weak basics, like, of course, it's Chikorita. And why are we gonna talk about Chikorita? Because Meganium, of all things, are in this list. And Meganium is, of course, from Lost Thunder. We thought it was like, eh, it's not even mentioned in my top 15 best cards of Lost Thunder. Yeah, and now it's doing very well, well, that happens when you have a crazy ability called Quick Ripening Herb. Once during your turn, you may use this ability, choose one of your basic Pokemon in play. If you have a stage 2 card in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put it onto that basic Pokemon to evolve it. You can use this ability during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put in play this turn. So this is very, very important because you can just smack down a Froakie and go immediately into Greninja GX. And that is going to be the strategy in this deck. So uh, Meganium, you definitely want to get two of them out. Uh, the uh, amazing inventor of the deck actually played a 3-3 line of Meganium just to make sure you can get this out quick enough. Of course you'll be running 4 rare candy in this list to just get Meganium out as quickly as possible because as soon as you get Meganium out, you have access to all of your stage 2s, which can evolve on the spot. Let's say you use Nazball, get out of the Mudkip, that's the next card I'm gonna talk about here. Boom, ripening her, bam, it goes into Swampert. And that's gonna, how you can get those stage 2s into play. This is a crazy deck that only relies on one single energy, and that is called Super Boost Energy. This Super Boost Energy has been seen play, of course, with things like Gardevoir, and of course Swampert is around. Swampert does love its Super Boost Energy, and it's back in this deck again. A tree tree line of Swampert is also uh, included here because of the ability power draw. Once during your turn you may discard a card from your hand, if you do you can draw 3 cards. So pretty much uh, yeah, a Zoroark GX trait but then on steroids it's even better. You can draw 3 cards, it's also not a GX Pokemon and it only gives up one prize card. Not only that, Hydro Pump is an attack that can uh, work with the super boost energy in the late game. I do suggest that you only attack with uh, anything other than Greninja on uh, your very last turn where you can just get your last prize cards otherwise your strategy goes down the drain or or it gets flooded here because you definitely only want uh, a Greninja GX as your main attacker throughout the game and more on that later so a 3-3 line of Swampert will make sure you can draw into those stage 2 puzzle pieces and you can go uh, into those stage 2s immediately thanks of course to Meganium with the quick ripening herb. The good news is late game you have access to super boost energy and you have the typing of water in your deck. Think about uh, Swampert and Greninja which I'm going to talk about after I talk about uh, the super boost energy in general and Meganium could also pack Solar Beam at the late stages of the game to one shot things like Lycanroc GX, Zygarde GX, Lapras GX etc. So that is not bad 
at all. So now that we have our draw support set up with Swampert and that we have our quick ripening herb ability to go into our stage twos, what are some other stage twos we're gonna run? Well, glad you asked. We're gonna be running the uh, Greninja GX, a two-tool line of Greninja GX. And why is that? Because Greninja GX will be our main attacker of choice. Greninja GX comes back with actually kind of a uh, neat uh, attacks here. You don't always have to be afraid like, oh my god, I'm weak to grass, how Jumplet's gonna eat me up and stuff. Well, don't care about that. You just have your Hay Slash, you just smack damage, and then you go straight into the deck. Uh, you shuffle uh, this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. And mo most of the time that will be Froakie, Greninja GX, and your super boost energy on the deck. So you try to play aggressively as possible and uh, make sure that only those three cards uh, end up being the last cards in your deck. Then you can just draw them out with Swampert, bam, you can just get Greninja out once again, get him to the active position with things like Guzma, Acerola and Switch and then you can just smack Hay Slash and then uh, Greninja goes back into the deck and you can just repeat the process over and over and over again unless uh, the opponent takes all of their prize cards but other than that if they uh, they cannot even use things like um, the enhanced hammer because as soon as you attach it you go back into the deck that's how uh, the power works not only do we have this crazy hay slash attack we also have shuriken flurry which makes sure that can snipe as well even though we don't play the uh, amazing frogadier here we're gonna go from froki onto greninja gx immediately which makes sure that shuriken flurry activates and you can put three damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon this could help to snipe and soften up the damage against things like gramble or against other pokemon that like have uh, 60 hp think about some weak zoroas that you just want to snipe 30 on well you can just repeat the process here this is going to be fantastic i already want to play test this on tcgo but this is an episode a deck analysis i want to give you all the uh, strategies and information first so uh, now that we have greninja gx explained it also has a gx move 130 uh, damage to one of your opponent's bench pokemon this could be very useful but i do not recommend it until you only need to take your last prize cards or uh, prize cards depending on if you knock a gx or a basic pokemon so that's why i do suggest always using hey slash because you only have that one single super boost energy and otherwise your strategy will just fail okay you might just think wow all those stage twos that is just clunky as hell well that is true but there's even another one we have slacking from celestial storm i just say like i miss garbodo of course with the uh, garbage toxin ability where you can shut down any ability while slacking is that pokemon for you as long as this pokemon is your active pokemon your opponent's pokemon have no abilities and the good news is your abilities still count that means you can just uh, rely on the shuriken flurry you can rely on the power draw on of course on the quick ripening herb so uh, just put your slacking in the active after you use the attack of greninja gx the hay slash put greninja back in the deck and promote slacking i know slacking is weak to fighting boswell gx is around that is true and of course other uh, fighting pokemon like baby boswell and lycoroc are around but this deck actually uh, was uh, invented in a meta where of course things like zapdos were very prominent blacephalon Rayquaza. so this is going to be very great shutting down all those abilities no more uh, you're gonna see like uh, of course traits from Zoroark that has been shut down also the abilities from Malamar the psychic transfer have been shut down you of course have of course the uh, ability of Rayquaza to get energies uh, on, uh, attached to Rayquaza also shut down so lots of abilities uh, in, the, in the format right now even things like Instruct of Oranguru if you get the slacking on the active position against Gramble they uh, pretty much have to shake your hand because it's GG because uh, they will not be able to rely on uh, the smooth over of Macargo as well as the Instruct so very very strong shutting down abilities it also can smack down 160 damage which can be used in the late game to knock out a gx surprisingly you can snipe with greninja gx and then finish the move with critical critical move but the thing is, you only need to use it at the late stages of the game where you only take your last prize cards. I keep repeating myself because this is only a deck with one energy and you don't want to misplay. So, now that we have our fourth stage 2 explained, you might just think this is clunky, people will use Marshadow, people will use Judge, we will brick a, a certain amount of times. Well, that's where, of course, Alolan Vulpix with Beacon comes into play. Of course, you got used to it thanks to Guardians Rising. Very, very great card. But, of course, the Alolan Ninetales GX from Lost Thunder is way better. Mysterious Guy will make sure that you can get your rare candies to evolve into your Meganiums. Even though you might give up two prize cards with Alola Ninetales, 
it's definitely worth it to get your setup because as soon as you get your setup, things will go smoothly. Uh, not only that, if a little Ninetales gets some damage, you can just Ace Roll it away from the field and you're done with that. So the, uh, the Mysterious Guidance is the only way actually uh, to get your rare candies out quicker than you possibly want. And it's also the only GX that uh, will stay in play after we attack. So this is uh, kind of uh, hu hu hustling here because uh, they might knock out a little Ninetales GX, but uh, I do recommend Ace Rolling it away after you use Mysterious Guidance. Okay, now that we talked about all the Pokemon and the, the one single super boost energy, let us talk about what else is being played. First, let's go over the uh, supporters. Uh, yeah, you should have guessed it already. Gladion is a big part of this deck. Two copies of Gladion are in this deck just to make sure that you don't whiff on super boost energy. You only have one energy in your entire deck. Uh, you might as well uh, make a use and grabbing it with Gladion. There might be some games where two Gladions and super boost energy is priced. Well, maybe you can just have some luck with Greninja GX and Snipe and stuff and nah it's never gonna work if everything's priced you will probably lose the game just scoop and go to game 2 where you can just have access to super boost energy the chances of super boost energy being priced is not as high as it seems and with Gladion you just have access to it next is something I already uh, uh, talked about here is Acerola just so good Acerola will make sure that sometimes uh, when they smack your slacking when it's in the active and it's not one shot you can use uh, the Acerola smack down your uh, little slack on and evolve into slack Lacking once again thanks to the quick ripening herb of Meganium. That's how powerful getting Meganium out is. So that's why Meganium and Swampert are kind of the uh, main heart and soul of the deck to make it function. Swampert can draw everything out and Meganium can evolve everything. That's how it goes. Next supporter will be Guzma. You, of course, two copies of Guzma here. Sometimes all of your switch cards will uh, run out eventually. And with Guzma, you can uh, get out of the uh, nasty active position because uh, yeah, slacking does have a huge retreat cost. And uh, yeah, it also is nice to just target something that you want, will want to one-shot. Think about uh, things like Macargo or maybe things that you can one-shot with Hay Slash. And of course, the next draw supporter is going to be Lily. Two copies of Lily. Lily is great in the early phase of the game because uh, if you use it on your first turn, you can draw uh, until you have eight cards. And that will make sure you have lots of Nas Balls. I'm going to talk about the item card soon. And uh, the last supporter on this list is going to be Looker. Looker will be necessary because I don't know if you've noticed this, but Looker can draw the three bottom cards of your deck. And why is this great? Well, there's only one possible explanation and that's going to be Looker Whistle. This is an item card that searches your deck for two cards named Looker, reveal them and put them into your hand. That way you can keep uh, uh, yeah, drawing your cards over and over again. And that's why uh, you can just have your uh, Swamper drawing cards, Looker drawing cards. You can have lots of cards in your hand uh, and then you can just smack with your stage twos. Not only that, we're also going to be running Palpat to of course reuse our powerful supporters like Acerola and uh, maybe even Kuzma. You could also uh, it's, uh, Palpat, uh, of course, Lookers into the deck, but uh, that is something I haven't seen too much of yet. Next is going to be the item cards. I'm just gonna say this straight away, four copies of Rare Candy, smack, it's over with. So with Rare Candy, you can just go into your Meganium and then the deck runs itself. If you get Meganium and Swampert out, the deck runs itself. That's what I wanted to say here. So uh, next up is going to be for Nest Ball. Nest Ball is going to be the way to get your basics out. Froakie, Mudkip, Chikorita, Slackout, Vulpix. That is going to be the ones you want to get out. And uh, the reason uh, we're not running things like Elm is that we're going to be running everything with 70 HP. Only the Slackout has 60 HP, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, there's also going to be... Of course, four copies of Acrobike, so more draw power. So we have Acrobike, we have Looker, we have Looker Whistle to get more Lookers in the hand. We have Swampert, so you draw very, very quickly into your deck. And uh, the reasoning behind that is that as soon as you have like uh, no cards left in the deck and you can use Hay Slash, you can use your combo on repeat infinitely. There are, of course, ways that the opponent can just uh, block this deck entirely. I'm just going to state them right away because some people might say, oh, this is an unbeatable combo. You have ability lock, you have sniping, you have major damage. What is the weakness? Well, Chimeco is going to be a weakness from Crimson Invasion with the uh, the Belt of Silence. That way, uh, yeah, you cannot play anything down with abilities. And uh, yeah, funny enough, every evolutionary deck has abilities, so that is pretty much GG if they can get out uh, one little Chimeco. Also, Durant might be a crazy option that you can just discard uh, maybe the super boost energy entirely. I don't know, there are two tech cards that uh, you might think about, but more on the deck now. Uh, as mentioned, we are going to be running Acrobite to go faster into our deck, and uh, up next is going to be two copies of Ultra Ball and two copies of Timer Ball. Of course, we need our puzzle pieces together with Timer Ball and Ultra Ball. We will make sure you can get those stage twos in your hand in order to go into Meganium or uh, in order to go to Swampert. 
Next is going to be copies of Switch. Three copies of Switch. Why Switch? Yeah, I already mentioned it. You're gonna use Haste Slash with Greninja GX. You're gonna go back into the deck and then you can promote something. But you only have one energy in your deck, so you need to get out of the active. Most of the time, you will just promote your slacking to have uh, ability lock going on. That way, the opponent cannot use Tapu, Lele, GX, and all their good consistent cards like that. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, yeah, if they smack down Tapu, Lele, it will not activate. So <laughs> some people might just forget that. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't happen to you here. Uh, next card on the list is going to be, uh, yeah, of course, Rescue treasure sometimes uh, you're gonna puzzle piece will fall apart as mentioned there's only a 1-1 one, one line of slacking in here and a 2-1 line of a little nine just jacks those are very fragile lines so that's why rescue treasure comes into play to just grab back one of those puzzle pieces as mentioned two copies of looker whistle will get your lookers in the hand i still think it's a crazy thing i search your deck for two cards named looker and reveal them put there in your hand i've never thought i'd see the day where i talk about this card <laughs> next two cards are the, the finishing cards of the list one brooklyn hill you might even swap that to things like a shrine because I do think shrine could also be very amazing to just build up the damage while Greninja snipes. But that's just my personal preference. You can, uh, yeah, definitely go for Brooklyn Hill as well. In, like in this list, Shintaro definitely knows what he's doing. So yeah, Brooklyn Hill might be better, but Shrine is also an option here. But Brooklyn Hill can get a water Pokemon out that could be Alolan Vulpix, Mudcap. So uh, those two Pokemon are very, very uh, good. Your Froakie is just to attack. You can evolve immediately into Greninja GX. And of course, Swampert, you need that. And that's why we're getting out Mudcaps with Brooklyn Hill. Then one copy of the Choice Band. The Choice Band will help with the numbers with Hay Slash. Not only that, if you have a choice band and you have hay slash and you have the snipe you deal 170 damage yeah do you know what territory that is that's tapu lele territory so that's why it's in here so that is the list not only are you just gonna be able to have so much fun with this list getting all your favorite pokemon out swampert meganium starters greninja all pokemon starters are in this list you also have ability block and it's one of the most prominent ability locks in the game at the moment you even shut down all abilities like even the vika vote with the strong charge you even shut that down so there i have just no words for uh, how this deck even functions so i'm just so glad that, uh, that shintaro ito designed this deck big uh, shout out to you becoming 11 at that huge tournament must have been fun with this deck definitely uh, you folks check it out for yourself this is a 200 episode hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself on the channel i'll definitely be uh, doing a giveaway of tcg online code cards to celebrate the 200 episode so stick around for that video that I think have a lot of TCGO code cards so you can definitely get yourself some puzzle pieces because this deck list you runs cards of a different set we have Lost Thunder cards we have Celestial Storm cards Forbidden Light cards it's all in here so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you uh, did be sure to demolish the like button be sure to mention in the comment section as well what you think about this deck and I also want to know uh, yeah <laughs> are you gonna test this out are you afraid of this deck or not are you gonna run the, uh, the tech card I mentioned like uh, Chimaco or Duran let me know in the comment section below and I'll be seeing you guys in another TCG video soon. Have a fantastic rest of your day, guys, and I'll be seeing you guys shortly. Peace out. If you wanna go and test a deck that isn't played a lot in this format, then listen to what I'll say. If you wanna go and try it out with me, let me know how it does in a tournament. I think it could be really great. Chilling on Sundays, while new ideas pop in my brain.